The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar is a worldwide and interdenominational prayer network. All, all the glory belongs to you, Jesus. Jesus asked his disciples to tarry for one hour with him, and he has made that call again today. This is a call to people everywhere to congregate in a world without barriers and to invest global prayer power to make all things conform to God's will. Join Apostle Goodheart Ekwene online every weekday at www.radio.logic.org or on Facebook and Instagram at Apostle Goodheart or download the Horn of Revival Ministry app free at Google Play and Apple stores. GPPA is an altar for the global gathering of God chasers and Jesus lovers. Hello, beloved. My name is Goodhart Obi Akwema, and I serve as the lead pastor of Revival House of Glory International Church, otherwise known as Roger, and the apostolic lead of Horn of Revival Ministry, a global outreach ministry with a mandate to carry the touch, the fire, the flame of revival across cities and nations of the world. It was about a few months ago, September 1, 2017, that the Lord laid upon my heart to raise this altar called a GPPA, the Global Prophetic Prayer Altar. What is it all about? Really, it's all about Jesus, about the people who love the Lord, who are literally fanatical about Jesus, God, Jesus, and lovers of the Lord, who gather every day at his feet, Monday to Friday, to speak to him, to commune with him, and to fellowship with him. Since then, multitudes across the nations have prayed thus. These prayer sessions have changed lives. Awesome testimonies have trailed these prayers. Now, open your heart. Join me in this live session of the GPPA. As you listen, pray together with me. Your life is about to be changed. Enjoy praying at the feet of Jesus. Remember, prayer is the master key. It is the key the master used, but nonetheless, it's the key that opens all doors, as would any master key. Let's enjoy Jesus on GPPA. Enjoy. Papragasike telega boka leko popo progosaka talaga zikrando gobosa leka paprakati seke trobo saka telega ta braka tu suko popragasike lianka ta pragasike lianka ta bara baba saka talaga piska to pragasike tanga borobo saka ta pragasike telega ba branto su pragatida bolobo saka ta wow robe gaziza gatom pragasilia lot to popo shoko to prakasikata le grangatiska fo pregatingle to prande es pregadika lanto ko suko to prugopo es pregate es pregate es pregate es pregate father we give you praise and glory maka papa sasekatrega papa gapa bo 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 sasekatrega sasekatrega papergasi le ko to popo kasan sankata le ke pregatika laka pregataka laka pregataka this is the day the Lord has made. We have a divine commandment to be glad and to rejoice in this day. Makoto prosumata la pregatika la pregataka la pregataka. Father, we come into your gates with thanksgiving, into your court with praise. Robobo sike telega ba pregazigidiankata. We celebrate your mercy, your grace, your goodness over our lives, and we declare there is none like unto you. Makubo zelimo, rambi gaziza gatangre gasitro modingro no santo colo, barba dek zeseke trega papre gazigrianca tuba, leco papra gatanda gazigrianca telega ba. We sanctify our lives, makra bazakata, leke pregadiska lanka papre gazazagata, borobo ziga trega bampanka ba, maka pregadisa, laka pregaziga tinga, borobo zika trega zeseke trega papre gazigita, robo bo. Bozozo botolo bozikranda gabaroho leko prakatanda sikrato por bol bol sikata leke pregese sikatrega ba pregese sikatomba robo bobo shuto kopanda laka pregata laka pregata only the living can give God praise leke pregata wu sikata will you celebrate God for the gift of life today zikatomba what an awesome privilege to join hundreds of people across the nations lifting our hands and our hearts unto our Father, decreeing and declaring that He is the Lord. Wow! Robobo zisiketel marga uskaleta pregata pregata. What a great day to be alive on the global prophetic prayer altar once again. 
This is that day the Lord has made. Let's be glad and rejoice in this day. Wow. Broskatak. I perceive that great things are about to break loose upon this altar today. I'm excited in my spirit for the great things the Lord has in store for us in this hour at the feet of Jesus. The master said, can you not tarry with me for just one hour? There is a miracle of one hour at the feet of Jesus. Here we are at the feet of the master. Borobo zizika triga pa praga zizika triga baka borobo sekatri leke pregati leke pregata leke pregata leke pregata za 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 gatubogo borobo zika raka sekatubo zika ta loko pregadika bambrugoto 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 zika ta laga pa praga zizika triga pa leto pa praga zizika triga pa la dosa boko pa praga zika tanda briata 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 let's give God. Praise. Let's give him glory. He alone is worthy of our praise. Makuto pragata leke pragata. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Ekaranda gaza is a wonderful thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Let's celebrate him. Maka pragata zeke tragata. Psalm ninety-eight verse one says, "Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous things. His right hand and His holy." Am have gained him the victory. The Lord has made his salvation, his righteousness, he has revealed in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and his faithfulness to his house, to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Hear this verse 4. Shout joyfully to the Lord. Wow. All the earth break forth in song. Rejoice and sing praises. Break forth in song. Rejoice and sing praises. Verse 5 says, Sing to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and the sound of a psalm, with trumpet and the sound of a horn shout joyfully before the Lord the King. Open your mouth and give the Lord praise. Let's shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth in song. Rejoice and sing praises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love the sounds. Psalm 100 verse 1 says, Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before the presence with singing. Ha <laughs> ha. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us, not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Verse 4. Enter into his gates with what? With thanksgiving. Ooh, and into his court with what? With praise. Wow. Be thankful to him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Let's bless our God. There is a heavenly protocol to come into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Hallelujah. We're to be thankful to him and to bless his name. It begins with thankfulness. It comes to praise and then worship. Thankfulness, praise, and then worship. Will you thank the Lord for preserving? you, protecting you, fighting your battles, giving you peace on all fronts at every level, waking you up this morning, sustaining you through the night. Will you thank the Lord for keeping you awake where you are? Those who are in North America, just bless him. Beko prega zakata every night, every morning, we declare he's faithful. Bakolo mosakata, he's the God who hears prayers. He's a God who accepts the praises of his people. Loto sokoto pregata. Leramanakateske triya popokopo. Zenseke ponda. Bragatanda, Bragatanda, Bragatanda. Psalm 103 again, number one. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. What are these benefits? He forgives all your iniquities. What are they? He heals all your diseases. What are they? He redeems your life from destruction. What are they? He crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. What are they? He satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth 
is renewed like the eagles. What are they? The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. Will you open your mouth and turn to Psalm 103? begin to bless the Lord for the benefits of salvation and redemption. We can stand before him without a sense of guilt nor condemnation. What a privilege to come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find help in the time of need. Oh, celebrating Ikata for the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus Christ. We can stand without a sense of guilt nor condemnation. Wow! Roboko Sokoto is worthy of our praise. Lekapato Masakata Blessed be the name of the Lord my God. Zekoto Prakata. Psalm 105, verse 1. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Wow. Call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Oh, on this global prophetic prayer altar, let's lift our voice and make known his deeds to all people. Sing to him, sing psalms to him, talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the heart of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works, which he has done, his wonders, and the judgment of his mouth. Now open your mouth and remember his marvelous works. Those who can't remember cannot thank. Those who cannot think cannot thank. Oh, somebody once said that whenever a man thanks God, he causes the tank of such a man or a woman to remain full to the overflowing. As we thank the Lord this hour, I see your tank, your tank of joy, your tank of peace, your tank of gladness overflowing. I mean, overflow. Somebody say overflow. Lekoto Pragasata, your joy tank is about to overflow as you bless the name of your father yet again. Leko Mada Grada Zikato, Brokoto. Brokoto, Brokoto, Zizi Geloto, Bregado, Skalita, Leto Maragazazagatanda, Zenzomato, Bregati, Leko Pregada. Is somebody blessing the name of the Lord? Zikotola, don't get tired of blessing him. Don't get tired of praising him. You see, if we're tired of blessing you, he will not be on the cross of Calvary for you and for me. It was not convenient for Jesus to hang high, to spread wine. No, sir. He did it out of a covenant obligation to redeem my. Mankind. We also have a covenant responsibility to bless the Lord at all times. Makubos Kotopra is Gregatos. I sense mighty things about to flow in this altar this particular day. I sense it in my belly. I sense it in my bones, in my joint, in my ligament. I sense it. Rokotos Kalato Pragazizi Galoka. Brakato, 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 Brakato. Can somebody genuinely bless the Lord on this altar this day? Karana Gazizi Gaton Droko. Grobalatika. Shotoko Popragata. Progota, progota. Remember at the altar of prayer, lives are altered. Destinies are altered. Ika finances are altered. Ika pragazikata marriages are altered. I don't know what needs altering in your life today. At this global prophetic prayer altar, I sense the God of heavens visit you with an alteration. When the Father alters, it is permanent. When He blesses, it is permanent. Will you believe the Lord for a permanent change, transformation, and metamorphosis coming your way today? Everything is about to change under this open heavens. Makulupata. I know you've struggled in a particular area for so long, but I perceive for somebody under the sound of my voice that the era and season of struggle comes to an utter end from this day in the name of Jesus. You are going to see an amazing level of grace and favor visit you like never before. Balo Sakata. Leke Bregata. Oh, the sound is declared. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Somebody, you were glad when they said to you, let us go to the global prophetic prayer altar, for there your life is to be altered. Will you thank the Lord for this opportunity? to spend one hour with the body of believers globally eh, at the feet of Jesus. I'm so grateful. I thank you for the privilege to stand together with you in prayer. It's a joy and an honor to me. Leke prega sakato prega. At every of this hour, I'm as refreshed as you are. I'm as strengthened as you are. Borogo zekati kata. It's about no man. It's about no church. No personality. It's about Jesus. The Bible declares as we lift Jesus up, he will cause all men to be 
be brought to him. It is all about Jesus on this altar. The Bible declares there is no other name worth life salvation but the name of Jesus. Can somebody lift up the name of Jesus over your life, over your marriage, over your home, over your business, over the works of your hand? Raise Jesus up. The bloodstained banner of Jesus and the mention of Jesus. Wow. Every knee has got to bow. Every tongue has got to confess and declare and decree that Jesus is the Lord. Will you lift up Jesus over your life this hour? I raise Jesus over my life. Zekatola, Zekatala, Zekatala. As the blood mark came upon the houses and the doors and the lintel of the children of Israel while they were in Egypt. Oh, when the messenger of death came, he saw the blood mark. Wow. And he passed over their homes. There was a pronouncement of a pass over their lives as we lift up the blood-stained mark over our lives on this altar this day by the mercy of the Lord, there is coming a pass over your life. Every plague is passing over you. Every disease is passing over you. Every curse, every voodoo, every juju, every witch, every wizard, they have to pass over you. Why? There is a blood mark over you. Can you decree and declare that you are exempt from the ears of this land? Open your mouth. Lekotaka. I decree and declare the covenant of exemption is speaking over my life. I am free from satanic molestation. I am free from diabolic molestation. Who can curse whom the Lord has blessed? Are you praying? Please open your mouth and pray for yourself. You are the prophet over your life. You are the priest over your own life. Open your mouth. Touch not the Lord's anointed and do his servants no harm. Open your mouth and declare and declare the touch not seen over your children. Biological and spiritual and decree and declare the touch not seal over my children born and unborn for those who are still expecting the Lord for the fruit of the womb prophesy over your children yet to be born call them name by name twins and triplet prophesy and decree over you David Joshua Paul just call their names decree over you the cover of exemption Makata Pregata as you bless your children yet to be in your womb, your loins, the Lord knows you believe. Zekatora, Zakatala, 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 Kutoparanga Zizekatobre, Lekuba Zasakatoro, Baklikateka, Zizekatobre, Gadilegato, Branta, Branta, Branta. Are you decreeing and declaring the covenant of exemption over your life where you are, also over your children, over the works of your hand? Now, decree and declare concerning you there shall be no loss no heart no damage do you hear me no loss no heart no damage open your mouth over my life no loss no heart no damage now these are the prayers that preserve you in your future there shall be no loss no heart no damage over my life no loss no heart no damage now for those who are called into one area of ministry or the other whatever area of ministry decree and declare over that assignment over that calling and mantle, there shall be no loss, no heart, no damage. Open your mouth. There shall be no loss, no heart, and no damage. Now release your prayer language furiously and violently and passionately. Rabba, roll like a lion. Makuba sakata, robo skoto prakata, zekto plita kato prakata, no loss, no heart, no damage. Zekatelega se sekatri pakatonga ohtrubaha. Over my life, no loss, no heart, no damage. Over this global mandate upon my hand, no loss, no heart, no damage. A zekatelega parba, lekutomba la krapatala, kapragatala, la kapragatala, la kapragatala, zekoto prongo popo sukutrubo zekatala. Saints, whenever there is a changing of season, listen carefully, heaven places a demand on the people of God. Listen carefully, whenever there is a changing of season about to come over a people of God, heaven places a demand upon his people. There are many demands. 
but one of the demands God will place upon a people that is about to break into a new season is a demand for a new level of consecration, a new level of dedication, a new level of devotion. Listen carefully. In the Old Testament, whenever God was going to visit the children of Israel, he will place a demand upon them. Before them at Mount Sinai, he told Moses, go down prepare these people, consecrate them, let them wash their clothes for three days and prepare because on the third day, I am going to show up. Wow! I am going to show up. Before they sh he showed up, they had to prepare themselves in a like manner also the story is told about the five wise virgins and the five foolish virgins in Matthew 25. They had to prepare for the visitation of the bridegroom. And it came when they least expected at the midnight hour. Midnight hour is not figurative as midnight. It means when people least expect the bridegroom to come. Oh, skata pragata. He will show up. When men decree and declare peace and safety, then he will show up. Now, I want you, after the order of Romans 12, listen carefully. Romans 12 verse 1, I I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Living, not dead, living sacrifice. Yes, while alive you are a sacrifice offering unto him holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service or your reasonable worship. What is going on here? The Apostle Paul is saying there is a need for us on a consistent basis to present our bodies unto God as a living sacrifice. What that means is a sense of knowing that your body does not belong to you. Remember, the Bible says you are bought with a price, and that a full price, so you don't own your body anymore. Now, this hour, I want you to deliberately present your body to God as a living sacrifice. Now, be specific, be specific. Tell the Lord, Lord, speak through my vocal cords. Use my mouth to speak your word. Oh God, work through my hands. Work wonders through my hands. Oh God, walk through my feet feet, think through my mind, see through my eyes, open your mouth as you present your body, every part of your body. My ears will not hear evil anymore. I will only hear the sounds of joy, the sound of gladness. Oh, only that sound shall be in my habitation. I will not hear evil anymore. I incline my ears to the word of God all the days of my life. Are you praying? You are sanctifying yourself unto the Lord. Leke pregata, zikroma ladagada. Oh God, walk through my hands, walk through my feet, think through my mind, see through my eyes, see the world through my eyes. Zigalano korobakata, zizige trega zizaranto prokotoro. Oh, present your body unto the Lord as a living sacrifice. Gezezige trega bakutum pregata, barba lekata. Blita feet, you not tip me into sin and iniquity. Bargata, you walk in righteousness, purity and holiness. Legragatasa. Are you praying? Oh, pray this prayer. It's a prayer of consecration. The word to sanctify means to separate yourself onto something or onto someone or onto a particular cause or purpose. Now, as we sanctify ourselves, we say, Lord, our bodies are presented to you as a living sacrifice. Do with it as you please. Legatasi the kratobola. Oh, open your mouth and pray. If you can lay your hands upon your head as a sign of devotion and dedication, if you need to repent unto the Lord, repent in ways you've wronged Him, by mis misusing and abusing your body that belongs to Him. Remember the Bible declares His eyes are pure than to behold iniquity is the thrice holy God. Now I want you to do something else. Don't just present your body. Present your heart. All oh, the Bible says, rend your heart and not your garment. In the Old Testament, the show of sincere remorse, repentance and sorrow before the Lord was to rend garments. But he said, no, 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 no. Under the new covenant, I don't want you to have an outward show of repentance only, but I want your repentance 
repentance to begin from the heart. So rend your heart, not your garment. Will you ask the Lord to cause your heart to become tender, soft, supple, malleable, like a papa, anywhere your heart has become hardened to the instructions and leadings and dealings of the Holy Ghost as the Lord this hour to soften your heart. Open your mouth wherever you are across the nation. We're praying for God to give us a tender heart. He said he will remove from us a heart of stone and give us a heart of flesh. Leka para zekroba leka trega zizekata makroba baka pragata zekrobata zeke pragata. Oh, you can never pray too much about the heart condition of a man. Oh, leka tapra. That is the real use. Your heart, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. So if your heart is right, your words will be right. If your heart is wrong, your words will be wrong. Hear what David said in Psalm one three nine verse twenty three. Search me, O God. Know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties, my cares, my worries, and see if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Will you ask the Lord to search you? Search your heart and know your heart. Try your reins. Makuloka. Lord, I present my heart to you, not just my body. Zakotola. Bergatik. Bergataka, bergataka. Will you present your heart this day? Ask the Lord to soften your heart, to do a walk, a walk of permanence in your heart. Wherever your heart needs to be broken, where it's become hardened, ask the Lord to break the fallow ground of your heart. Zakatrika, give you that childlike faith you once had before that will make you become all tender before the Lord. You cry easily, you worship easily, you're grateful, you're thankful. Lord, give us a tender heart. Brakato, brakata, brakata. And you pray this prayer. Is it walking within? Lord, to panic Zezekatobra Macrabato Lecrecata, Lecrecata, Lecrecata Ziga Trega Ziga Trega Zacatre Borobo Zucrata Lecotopala Necracasis Bregatuca, Bregatuca, Bregatuca Open your mouth and ask a lot to cause your heart to become tender and soft Leke Bregata, Leke Bregata, Leke Bregata Is there pride that has taken over your heart? Oh God, deliver me Icatos Cataca Bregata, cleanse and forgive me Zato Prandic Letopa Cause my heart to be tender. I want to be charged. I like. I want to believe your every word, your every instruction. I don't want to argue with you. I don't want to reason with you. No. The Bible declared in Proverbs 3 verse 5, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Act not in the Lord in all of your ways and he will direct your path. Let's tell the Lord we trust you. I trust you. I trust your guidance. I trust your leadership. I trust your direction. Oh, my Father, I trust you. Can you express your trust to the Lord today as we consecrate our Hearts to him. Lekoto Prakatanda. Where you lead, oh God, we go. What you is talk, we do. We are yours to command. Batu Bregadiska. Are you declaring that I am yours to command? Lata Sarabala. Brogodaka, Brogodaka. Father Lord, we are yours to command upon this global prophetic prayer altar across the nations. Brigata, Brigata. I thank God for the giant of prayer he's raising across the nation through this platform. Discipling the nations through prayer. Zekaloto, Brigataka. Many people's altar, prayer altar, have been catching fire for the past few weeks. Men are enjoying prayer. Prayer is no longer a thing that is boring and difficult and uh, 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 chore, but it's becoming a delight. Zekatropos Ask the Lord for three things this hour. Oh God, grant me the desire to pray, grant me the discipline to pray, and grant me the delight and the pleasure of prayer. Did you hear that? Grant me the desire. Prayer begins with desire. Oh Lord, oh God, grant me the genuine desire to pray, to stand with you, to stand before you. Grant me the desire. Ask for the desire. Pray and believe. Believe what you're praying. Believe what you're praying. Pray what you believe. Lord, I pray for the desire. The Bible declares in Luke 18 verse 1 that men ought to pray and not to faint. When we don't pray as we ought to pray, fainting is the consequence. Fainting means failing. But when men pray, there is a power release. That's why a praying individual is a powerful individual. A praying family is a powerful family. And a praying church whoa, is a powerful church. And a praying nation is a powerful nation. 
the Lord to baptize you once again with the desire to pray. Let prayer become by delight. Let prayer become a discipline. The desire, the discipline, and the delight of prayer. Ask the Lord for those three Ds. Desire, discipline, and what a delight. Delight comes out of you receiving answers to prayer. Like when you pray and see God move, it's a delight. When it begins with a desire, then a discipline, and then there's a delight. Bakula de Krakata, Brugata, Brugata, Brugata. Oh God, we pray for a stir of a desire, genuine desire, born by your spirit. Like a to tarry in the place of prayer. Zekolomana Kapragata. Oh Father Lord, we thank you for it. Woo! In the name of of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Wow. Somebody shout a victorious amen where you are. Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. Something special is happening on this altar already. I sense it. I sense a mighty shift, a mighty shift in the heavens over our lives. And I just sense that God is said to do even greater things on this altar before we're over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Will you lift those hands and thank Him for the atmosphere of heaven on earth where you are? Thank Him. Thank Him. Oh, somebody began this prayer with a heaviness and that has been lifted about three, four minutes ago. Something just snapped over your neck and over your shoulders. There's a lightness and ease that came over you. There's a sweetness that just came over you. Father Lord, thank you. Thank you. Second all, we give you praise and glory. Oh, for the lightness of heaven. Wow. The lightness of your presence. Thank you for in your presence there is fullness of joy at your right hand there are pleasures not pressure not pressure pleasures forevermore father i pray get those for every one of my brother and sister who are connected to this altar right now from far and from near that you turn around every kind of pressure for pleasure now in the name of Jesus Christ, Le koto koto krakata, every burden be lifted, every weight, every concern, every point of anxiety be burst. In the name of Jesus Christ, Le koto prakata, I decree and declare you go to favor from labor, from tears to joy, from stress to rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. If there be any under the sound of this voice reverberating through the nations, through this platform, who is laboring under any kind of yoke, any kind of disease, I decree and declare over you, receive the healing anointing of Jesus right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, bone marrow disease, I curse you from the root. Liver disease, I curse you from heart disease. I declare you are cursed in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood bone disease, you are cursed in the name of Jesus Christ. Any kind of tumor, like a cancer, macro to scatter from the root, I decree and declare the fire of the Holy Ghost, like a performs a spiritual surgical operation in the name of Jesus Christ. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, you will have no need for any natural chemo anymore. In Jesus' wondrous name, I pray. Amen. Will you thank the Lord for that? All over the nations, all over the nations, all over the nations. Oh, his healing anointing was let loose across cities and nations right about now. Just receive that. Let it rest into your bones, into your joints. Yes, from the crown of your head where you are now. Whoa, scopoto, scalata, scatica, leka, pragasa. To all who are pregnant on this altar right now, by the mercy of the Lord, you carry that baby to full term. In the name of Jesus, every threat for premature birth we suspend by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. Gelohoska Trika Sakata. You are sustained to the point of delivery. Leka baby, you stay until the date and the hour. Our Father has said you come forth. Leka but mother is preserved, baby is preserved. In Jesus, wondrous name. Boko Sakati Kata Trup Sekata. Borobo Zekate Bregata Bregata and every wife upon this altar. Trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Not this day. By this time of life next year. You will not only be pregnant, you'll be carrying your baby in your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why? There is a prophetic word over your life. Be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish the earth. Subdue it. And what? And have dominion. Prayer is... No, no. You don't beg to be pregnant. If you're a child of God, say, be fruitful is a commandment. Be fruitful is a demand. Be fruitful is a commandment. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful in the name 
of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. Can you lift your hand wherever you are and bless the Lord? Bless the Lord. Bokasa for a mighty outpouring already across cities and nations. Just thank him. Just thank him. Just thank him. Makolo saka to pregasaka. Leke pregasi sekata. There is somebody on this altar. You have an immigration case. An immigration case. An immigration case. Coming up in the next few days, uh, possibly between now and seven days' time. I, I, I want to trust God for you, according to James 2.13, Makulo Sakata, that mercy shall prevail over judgment. Uh, looking at all odds against you, uh, you are not going to make the case, but there is something about the mercy of the Lord. Oh, cause Zakata. Can we on this altar stand for that one, wherever he or she, uh, across the nation who has an immigration legal case, that the mercy Mercy of the Lord shall prevail. And that one will testify of the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Father Lord, let your mercy prevail. Zana Koto, according to James 2.13, mercy prevails over judgment. Ledo Kataka, son of David, have mercy over your son and over your daughter. Leke Prega Zaka, Leke Prega Ta, Leke Prega. Let the heart of the judges be feeling disposed towards your son and your daughter. Kaparaga Zika Ta, Zedonono Koto Kopalagata. Let this turn around for a mighty testimony. What the enemy designed for shame and disgrace and embarrassment. Oh God, in your mercy. Oh, let the judge say, I'm inclined to show you mercy and favor. Leke Prega, I don't know why, but I'm inclined to show you mercy. Leke Prega Zaka Ta, Bokutuka. Let that be that testimony. Can somebody receive that? Can somebody bless the Lord for that? Bless the Lord. Just bless the Lord. 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 Something is happening. Something is happening. Will you thank Him? Oh, just lift those hands and bless Him. Oh, Lakata, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be upon my lips. Will you bless the Lord? He's a prayer answering God. He's the all seeing, all knowing, all hearing God. He's omniscience. He's omnipotent. It. Yes, yes, yes. Kaparaga sisika, borobo saka hika. Leka, he's only present. He's all peace at all times. He's all seen. He's all knowing. All cases and all files are open before him in the book in heavens. Makaloka sa leka dana, leka dana. Father Lord, we thank you. Oh, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Just bless the Lord, just bless the Lord, just bless the Lord where you are. Can you thank Him? Can you thank Him for the activation of the gift of the Spirit? Go ahead and thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. Bobo for his mighty visitation upon this altar. O kamali gazizi ge poroba bakatina zikropo soka praga sisi kateka banteka banteka. Oh, just bless him. Will you bless him? Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Wow. Leka tega from the north to the south, east to the west. The Asia blesses you. Africa blesses you. I, America blesses you. Deka Europe blesses you. Kaparga sakata zen sakato bergata kabaro sokotorobo elemare gateria zaro 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 zaro. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, leka babara gazigrian teka boro busia leka bara busika ya teleka boro busigrian teleka ba raga busu seka teleka seka teleka ba paraga seka teleka ba panga ba yike paraga seka teleka ba paraga seka teleka ba panga. You are the Lord that He left for me. You are the Lord my healer. You said your word and you heal. My disease, you are the Lord, my healer. Wow, you are the Lord that He left for me. You are the Lord, my healer. Yes, Lord, you sent your word and you healed our disease. You are the Lord. Ah, he listen that song to the Lord is our healer. You are the Lord that He left us. Yes, Lord. You are the Lord, our healer. You sent your word and you healed our disease. Wow. You are the Lord, our healer. Sakato You are the Lord. Yes, Lord. 
that he led us. You are the Lord, our healer. You sent your word and you healed our disease. You are the Lord, our healer. Father Lord, we thank you. Father Lord, we thank you. Father Lord, we thank you. Now, now, now listen to me, people of God. I, I'm going to take a chance in the spirit. Um, I have an image of uh, 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 a, a, a pair of legs. One is slightly shorter than the other leg. One is slightly shorter than the other leg. Uh, and I believe God for a supernatural growth of the other leg to become equal with the second leg. Now, wherever you are, I want you to just trust the Lord that as we sing this song to Jesus, the great physician, that he's going to kick in with this miracle working power, Losumato Koka, supernatural working power over your legs, and that shortened leg, slightly shortened, will grow to the normal state that heaven designed it to be. Now, that growth will begin now. It may not complete now, but but that leg will become as normal to the other leg. Now, I want you to trust God. Trust God. Remember, with men, it shall be impossible. With God, all things are possible. Now, we are living in the era of the miraculous and the supernatural like never before. Listen, the same Jesus yesterday, today, is the same Jesus today and forevermore. People may not believe him, but it's the same. He has not changed. He's still in the business of opening blind eyes eyes, causing the deaf to hear, wow, the dumb to speak, and the la lame to walk, the lame to walk, the lame to walk. At one instant, he asked one who had a withered hand, stretch forth your hand. And as he stretched forth in faith, that hand began to grow. Same Jesus, same Jesus, same Jesus. Now, believe God for that leg to grow, grow. And for those who also have any kind of deformities, you can also connect to this word of knowledge with your faith. If your faith is connected, expect growth, growth to normalcy. Ale Kotasa. Let's sing together, worshiping Jesus the healer. You are the Lord that he let us. You are the Lord, our healer. You sent your word and you healed our disease. You are the Lord. Ah, healer. Let's sing it from my heart. Oh, yes. You are the Lord, Makolobosa, that he let us. You are the Lord, ah, healer. You sent your word and you healed our disease. Believe the Lord to heal every disease. You are the Lord, ah, healer. He's in the healing mode, Malakosadia. Oh, you are the Lord. That he let us came on almost Santa across the nations. Yes, Lord. You are the Lord. Ah, he wrap our faith, Lord. You sent your word and you heal. Wow. Ah, disease. Come on, almost Santa. You are the Lord. Ah, he let Sing it one more time. You are the Lord. That he left me. Healing wombs. Yekalopa. You are the Lord. I heal. Healing minds. You sent your word. Wow. And you healed our disease. Whoa. You are the Lord. I heal. Now just stand up and walk around where you are. Walk around where you are. Move your hands. Move your arms. Move your fingers. Move your head. Just move it. Move it. I believe literally supernatural miracles have happened in bodies right now. Right now as we speak. Uh, visions are being restored right now. Right now. 2020 vision. Father, thank you for the blanket of healing across cities and nations. Wow. Leka, we thank you for it. You reveal to redeem. The Lord reveals to redeem. The Lord reveals to redeem. Mako Soto Kropo Sakata. Ministering Spirit release. Karos Katenka to enforce the word of God's book. Deko Saka, you confirm the words of your servant, perform the counsel of your messengers. Lord, we receive, we believe, we receive, we believe, we receive. Can someone declare, I believe, I receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's spend the next 30 seconds just blessing him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you. Almighty and part of your reign, the reign of your spirit, the reign of your glory, the reign of your mercy. Yes, Lord. 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 Ooh, hallelujah. Wow. Give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Second Timothy 2, verse 19, as we push further. We really want to push some things in the heavens before we leave this hour. Uh, 2 Timothy 2, 19. Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands. Don't you love that? Having this seal, the Lord knows those who are his. Wow. Let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. It's your responsibility and mine to depart from iniquity. 20 is where I'm going. But in a greenhouse, they are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some for honor, some for dishonor. Verse 21. So a prayer point there. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself, again, responsibility is on anyone and everyone to cleanse himself or herself from the latter, all right? He or she will be a vessel of honor. That means you determine whether you are a vessel of honor in the Lord's house or a vessel of dishonor is your choice, all right? And this hour, we're going to make a choice. Sanctified, useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Flee also youthful lost, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart, who put up by the heart a moment ago, but avoid foolish and ignorant disputes, know that they generate strife. And a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach and patient in humility, Corrected those who are in a position, if God perhaps will grant them repentance, so that they may know the truth. Hallelujah. Our prayer is in verse 21. If anyone cleanses himself or herself from the latter, uh, he will be or should be a vessel of honor, sanctified, useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Don't you want to be prepared for every good work? Don't you want to be a vessel of honor? Don't you want to be fitted for the master's use? Oh, wow. Can we ask the Lord right now for grace for a life of purity and holiness? Let's open our mouth. Lord, I desire to walk in purity and holiness. You see, one of the things that helps a believer to walk in purity and holiness is having a deep reverential fear of God. I love Proverbs 16 verse 6 it says, uh, the, it said, by the fear of the Lord, men depart from iniquity. It says, uh, through, through, through truth and uh, through uh, the, the blood uh, is sin cleansed, but by the fear of the Lord, men depart from iniquity. Now, ask the Lord right now, right now, right now, to grant you a deep rever revelation of the fear of the Lord. Can you pray that prayer sincerely? Lord, I want to know your fear that I may depart from iniquity. We pray this prayer often and often on this altar very deliberately because these are the prayers that brings the material blessings and also preserves the material blessings. Lord, teach me your reverential fear that I may depart from iniquity. Baptize me, O God, with a deeper understanding of your reverential fear. Lego Bragadiska, Loto Pra. Are you praying that prayer? Pray sincerely. Pray sincerely. Teach me your fear. Leka. The fear of the Lord has departed from many hearts today. People are so careless with their spiritual destinies. Oh, that is not our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. In a great house, there are many vessels. Some unto honor, some unto dishonor. We want to say, Lord, I want to be a vessel unto honor. Leka Prekta. Ask the Lord for grace to depart from youthful loss. Grace to pursue righteousness, pursue faith and love and peace with those who call upon the name of the Lord out of a pure heart. Ask the Lord for this grace. 
Golodo Balata, Shondo Grobo Boboro, Zise Krekata. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We give you praise and glory, oh God, for grace to walk right, grace to bring you pleasure and delight. Leka Pragazizi Gatorobo Zakrada, Baro Bobo Zikata, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. As, as I, I prepared my heart for this particular prayer today, one of the things that came so strong in my heart is the word divine help or the words divine help. Somebody said divine help. Hallelujah. And, and before we close, I want to spend the next few moments just, just going before the Lord and, and asking for divine help. I don't know who, who is on this altar right now, but, but I believe somebody or perhaps many hundreds of people across the nations, uh, you, you know that you're in a place where you really, really need divine help or divine intervention. I, I am there. There are many things I'm trusting God for, many things God has shown me about my life and things I, I you know, I just know the Lord, I, I need you literally desperately. Hallelujah. And, and we want to look at, at four or five areas on how to draw divine help from the law. Uh, the first place is in the place of prayer. Somebody say prayer. That's right, prayer. Prayer is one place you and I can draw on divine help. Now, turn to Hebrews 4.16. Hebrews 4.16. Hebrews 4.16. How do we draw help in the place of prayer? We'll see right there. Hebrews 4.16. Write down scriptures. Go back. Pray these prayer points again. Read them over and over. Uh, this is Bible uh, believing prayer altar. We'll use the scriptures as a foundation for every other prayer point. Hebrews 4.16. I may be fast, but I quote the scriptures. Write them down. Go back to them again. Let us therefore... Come what? Boldly. Wow. To the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy, number one. Number two, find the grace. Number three, to help, help in the time of need. Now, let me, let me assure you, based on scripture, there is nobody who is sincerely uh, with faith in their heart, cries out to God for help that God will not help. Listen, Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you don't know of. So God said, if only you will call, I will answer. So he's not answering because men are not calling, men are not praying. All right? Uh, Matthew 7, 7, ask, you will receive, seek, you will find, knock, the door shall be opened unto you. So those who ask, receive, those who seek, find, those who knock, the door shall be opened. Here again, it says, call upon me. So we want to, want to deliberately now appear before the throne of grace. According to Hebrews 4, 16, what are we doing? We are placing a demand in the place of prayer for divine help. Can you ask the Lord in the place of prayer? As you open your Bible to Hebrews 4, 16, and say, Lord, I am before the throne of grace. Wow. Not the throne of judgment, the throne of grace. I've come to obtain mercy. I've come to find grace. I've come to also find help in the time of my need. Express your heart desire to your loving Father. He is kind. He is compassionate. He is merciful. He is good. He is loving. He wants to hear you cry out for help. Oh, God, send help. Lekotara. Zekata, except you send help, I will fall flat in shame and in disgrace. Oh God, send help from the throne of grace. Mention that matter specifically where you are. Is it concerning your child, your son, your daughter, your marriage, your destiny, your career, your finances? Cry out to the Lord. Ah, specifically concerning that immigration matter, cry out to the Lord. I cry for help. Zakato pragata. Let the delays be turned around for manifestation. I cry for divine help. Your divine intervention in the place of prayer. Zekatola, Zekata. I call unto you by faith and in faith. Thank you for answering me. Leroba, Zekata. Bratosko, Pongoba. Leregadelega, Delegadelega. Father Lord, thank you for help across the nations. 
as we cry sincerely and genuinely for help, one will receive it supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Is somebody grateful? Somebody grateful for divine help. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The, the, other, the other way we can receive help from the Lord is through agreeing with the word of God. Psalm 107, Psalm 107 verse 20. It says, a very popular scripture, we all know that I believe he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their what? Destruction. So, so the word of God was a means of setting the healing anointing of God. Not just that, it was also a means of bringing about deliverance. So by the word of God, by agreeing with the word of God, we can receive help from the Lord. Again, turn to Acts 20, 35. Of 32 Acts 20 32 so now brethren I commend you to God and to the word of his grace right which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified listen carefully so now brethren I commend you to God Wow and what to the word of his grace which is able. So the word of God has the ability to build you up, not just that, to give you an inheritance. It allocates to you your inheritance. Uh -huh. So this morning, by the word of God, we say, Lord, release unto me by your word as I mix your promises to me with faith. I receive help this hour. Go ahead. What is the word the Lord gave you? Hebrews 13 verse 5. He said he will never leave you nor forsake you. Listen carefully. Hebrews 13 verse 5. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Verse 6 says, So we may boldly say, listen carefully, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. Wow. What can man do to me? What is that? The Lord is what? My helper. I will not fear. What can man do? What are you doing? You're simply mixing your faith with the word of God, but he is your helper. Now, tell them what I believe I receive. Wow. Go ahead. Simply wrap your heart with the, the word of God. Wrap faith with the word of God. It says the word spoken to some do not profit others because they don't mix the word they heard with faith. Now, simply mix these words with faith. The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Lord, you are my helper. I believe your word. I believe your promises because your promises to me, they are yes and they are amen. Open your mouth. Tell the Lord, I agree with your word. Like I receive help. By your word, I receive help. He said, You will never leave you or forsake Lord, thank you. We give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Just to tie that in, 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8, write this down, refer to it later on, 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8, and God is able, hallelujah, to make all grace, not some grace, all grace, I love that, abound toward you, that you always, not sometimes, in season and out of season, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound, may have an abundance for every good work. The point is that God is able to make all grace abound toward you. Hallelujah. Now, we've looked at prayer as a point to receive help. We've looked at the word as a point to receive help. Now, we want to look at another very cardinal point to receive help, and that is called fellowship with one another. In Hebrews, he said that we are not to forsake the gathering of one another. One of the things that made the church in the Acts of Apostles, the first century church, powerful, was that they broke bread daily, they gathered daily, they prayed daily. They literally had church every day, hallelujah. Whether in houses or in the synagogue, they daily came together, whether in twos and threes or hundreds, to, to have fellowship. So there was something about the fellowship of believers. When we gather together, as the Bible says, iron sharpens iron. Listen to this, Obadiah 17. 
but on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Zion is a type of the church, of the gathering of the saints, all right? So on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, number one. There shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Now, these are the activities that go on in Zion. Now, I want to also tie that in in Psalm 84, verse 7, to see again what happens in Zion. Psalm 84, verse 7. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. Wow. Remember Zion is a type of the church. So each time we appear before God in Zion. Wow. The Bible says we go from strength to strength. Now listen carefully. As we are gathered together now in hundreds across the nations as a church, we are going from strength to strength each time we appear before God on the global prophetic prayer altar. Finally, Psalm 20. I want to read to you concerning the power of Zion. Psalm 21 to 3. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. Somebody shout a big amen. 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 The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Somebody shout a victorious amen. Amen. May the Lord defend you. May he hear you in this day of trouble. Send thee help from the sanctuary. Hallelujah. What sanctuary? The church. Hallelujah. The church. The sanctuary of the church. Listen carefully. And strengthen thee out of Zion. Wow. Look at that. Strength again in Zion. Remember all thy offerings. Wow. And accept thy burnt sacrifice. What are we doing? Lord, here we are at a Zion. We're here to receive strength. Now, will you express your faith sincerely? I am at Zion. What is Zion? Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst. That's a time. Oh, Zion, they go from strength to strength, all they appear before God in Zion, in Zion shall be deliverance, holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Now open your mouth, express your faith that you are in Zion. Robobogalaba Sakata. Erobozaka. Receive it, receive it, receive strength, receive refreshing, receive healing, receive joy. All at Zion. Kopoto Progo Zozo Galatoba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're looking at forces of help, divine help in the scriptures. Father. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor in the name of Jesus Christ. The other way we receive help, uh, obviously, from the Lord is by the Holy Ghost. Remember, uh, Jesus said that I go away, uh, I will send you another comforter like unto myself, who will not only be with you, but he will be in you, and he will be called uh, your comforter, a helper, your teacher. Uh, your standby, uh, intercessor, your advocate, several names, about seven names uh, used to uh, express who the Holy Ghost is. But one of the names of the Holy Ghost simply is our helper, our helper. Wow. The Holy Ghost is there to help you. Is your standby. Hallelujah. Now listen to what the Bible says. Second Corinthians 3.17 says, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now liberty comes because you have a helper who will break uh, every hole, every chain, every foot, every burden. Uh, but by the lead, by the presence of the Holy Ghost, no burdens can stand. Uh, we define the anointing as the burden lifting, yoke destroying power of the Holy Ghost or power of God, which is the anointing. So wherever the Holy Ghost is, uh, or wherever the anointing is, yokes can stand, burdens can stand. Now, now. Bible declares again, 2 Corinthians 3, 17, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now, Isaiah 40, please write this down. We're about to pray from this scripture. Isaiah 40, 29, because of time, to 31. We want to draw strength by the person of the Holy Ghost at work within us. All right? We want to draw help. Isaiah 40, 29, he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Wow. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Now, now that means there is an aspect of strength and longevity that is supernatural and divine. Because even the strong, who are the young, they are, they become weak and they fade. But he said, no matter who you are, young, old, middle age, once you learn how to activate this spiritual dimension of strength, which is to wait upon the Lord, wow, you have a guarantee that you renew your strength. Now, 
as you wait upon the Lord, you're really waiting upon the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of the living God is one who comes to renew our strength. Hallelujah. Like the eagles learned how to renew its strength after a number of years. Uh, 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 but in like manner also, God is saying, if you learn to stay in my presence, in my presence, my presence will refresh you and will renew your strength. Psalm 16 verse 11 says, In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. Can you ask the Lord for grace to abide in His presence? Wow. They that wait, they that wait. So it's a responsibility to wait. They that wait, they that wait. Galahasaka, Trobosakata, Leke, Pergasakata. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. Psalm 16 11, you will show me the path of life in your presence. There is fullness of joy at your right hand. There are pleasures forevermore, not precious. Lord, teach me to wait. O Lagosa, Leke Trigasa, as a songwriter declared, I don't mind waiting. Oh, I don't mind waiting for you. As long as it is you and your divine time that I'm waiting for, I receive grace to wait. For in your own time, you make all things beautiful. Father Lord, we'll give you praise. We'll give you glory. Thank you for help as we wait upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. The fifth point, which will be the last uh, I want to share with you on how to draw divine help, will be uh, on you learning how to connect uh, uh, with the anointed. Listen to me, whether you believe it or not, God has sent particular people as gifts to the body of Christ. The Bible calls them uh, the fivefold gift of the ministry, uh, uh, fivefold gift of the Holy Ghost, the gift of the apostle, the prophet, the teacher, the evangelist, and the pastor. These are gifts given to the body of Christ. The Bible says in Hosea 12, 13, by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet, he was preserved. Listen carefully, by a prophet, one, he brought Israel the people of, of out of bondage, which is Moses, and by another prophet, he preserved the children of Israel, which is Joseph, in the land of bondage. Now, now in, the, in the land of uh, 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 preserved them, we must, we must, we must learn to appreciate God for the gifts of ministers and ministries is given to us in the body of Christ. Now, you see, there are times you know you need to play hook up with somebody who is anointed and somebody who the Lord has clearly placed his hand upon for a specific purpose in your life. Uh, there's something about anointings coming together. Hallelujah. Now, this hour, I want you to ask the Lord for grace to be able to identify the ministers and the ministries God has sent to you as a blessing into your life. Will you open your mouth and say, Lord, help me to identify the prophets, the apostles, the teachers, the evangelists, and the pastors you sent to me as a gift. Remember this, until you learn to receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, you will not draw the honor and the blessings that prophet carries. So honor is a pipe through which anointing and grace flows. You must learn to honor the one that God has placed his hand over your life. Zekata, will you open your mouth? Kapraga zika talaga. Borobo zakata. Bregati, bregata, bregata, bregata. Leka papa kapa. Your degree of honor will determine the degree of the flow of virtue in your life. Leka, Lord, help me to identify the various ministry gifts you sent into my life to uphold me, to strengthen me. Father, Lord, I thank you. Are you praying that prayer? For through them, men receive help. The story was told in Second, Second, Second Kings, uh, verse six, when uh, the sons of the prophet went uh, uh, to build, build, build a house. They asked Elisha to go with them, and uh, as they went. Uh, their axe head fell into the water and supernaturally because they had asked Elisha to go with them uh, that axe head uh, was revived or restored by a prophetic word that Elisha gave these sons of the prophet so again prophets are helpers of destiny they are helpers of destiny we must honor and regard them would you thank the Lord for the several ministers that God has sent into your life thank God for your pastor for your leaders thank God for uh, uh, the leaders in your service team or your department but in church, wherever it is, just bless the Lord for leadership uh, that God has given you. Father Lord, thank you. Thank you and thank you. Ask the Lord for grace to honor the leaders that God has placed in the body of Christ wherever you find them. 
Bakalabosa, except you honor a prophet in the name of the prophet, you can receive the prophet's reward. They carry rewards. They carry rewards. They are blessed not for themselves. They are blessed for a people. Joseph was blessed not for himself. No, he was blessed that he may be a source of preservation for the entire nation of Israel. Will you bless God for them? Makato Father Lord, we thank you. Let's begin to tie up our prayers this hour with thanksgiving. God has been so good to us. It's been an avalanche of miracles and testimonies. I just know that great things have happened in the past one hour. I'm so, so excited. I'm so fulfilled in my spirit. You just know that you hit some things in the atmosphere, in the heavenlies, on the earth. You just know that God has just born. Wow. Lord, thank you. Will you thank the Lord for all those testimonies? Bless him. Bless him. Thank him. To God be the praise and the glory. Let's decree and declare whatever the Lord has done in our lives, it abides forever. It abides forever. Tell the Lord that what you've done on this altar, it abides. Tell the Lord, I will come back doubtless bearing forth my testimony. Are you saying that? Believe God. I will come back bearing forth my testimony. Lord will give you praise. All the glory and honor belongs to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's share the grace together. Uh, with the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and His mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We will dwell in God's house forever and ever. Amen. For the Lord is good and His mercy is endureth forever. Amen and amen. Hello, my friend. I'm sure you've had a tremendous time at the feet of Jesus on the GPPA session. Wow, it's been amazing. Amazing, amazing. Well, I want to encourage you. Don't just pray this once. Pray it over again. Pray it over again and just enjoy the self-same anointing. Testimonies have trailed these prayer sessions. I want to hear from you. Please send me an email to this address. Pastor Goodhart at gmail.com gets to me directly. You can also read me personally. Plus 234-805-223-4444. Again, plus 234-805-223-4444. You can also send me a lengthy WhatsApp testimony on that, if not my personal email address, Pastor Goodhart at gmail.com. But beyond this, you can join us live every day, Monday to Friday, on my official Facebook page known as Apostle Goodhart Obi Aquam. Also on Instagram, Apostle Goodhart Obi Aquam. But also, more than that, Roger Radio is a 247 online radio station, www.radio.roger.org. If you ever forget, Google Roger Radio. Why not download Horn of Revival Ministry app? It's a tool that will bless you tremendously. Till we get back in the next session of GPPA, Enjoy. Be blessed. My name is Goodhart of Bye now. Love you much. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar, GPPA, is a worldwide non-denominational prayer network online. And now, GPPA goes terrestrial. Join hearts with thousands of others from around the globe to pray together live for one hour with Apostle Goodhart Obi Equime on the Global Prophetic Prayer Altar right here on the following terrestrial radio stations on Passion 94.5 FM Uyo, Excel 103.7 FM Port Harcourt, Darling 107.3 FM Oweri, Urban Radio 94.5 FM Enugu, Unilag 103.1 FM Lagos and Bridge Radio 98.7 FM Asaba from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Mondays to Fridays. With more than one year and over 300 hours of testimony provoking prayer already logged online, GPPA is now available on radio. It's one hour of prayer every day to open the heavens and reorder your destiny as we pray live. Mondays to Fridays from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. GPPA is an altar of the global gathering of God chasers and Jesus lovers and is brought to you by the Horn of Revival Ministry.